Hi, for the past few months, I've just been going through a season of distraction. And that's what I'm believing that I was fighting, just this, this spirit of distraction. And I know now that it was a spirit of distraction because one of the things that I've come to realize about God is that God gives you exactly what you need when it is that you need it. And when you pray to God, he really does answer prayers. I remember there was a season where I was going through some things and I felt hopeless and I would ask God for something and he would come through. And I went through the season recently, you know, when you're, you're at a place where you're just, you're waiting, right? You're not sure. Like everything it is that you believe that God has placed on your heart to uh, accomplish you've accomplished it but now you're at this season forgive me for the light in here this message is coming to me and as it's coming to me I want to give it I felt like I was at this season where you're waiting you know it's a waiting season and now I can tell the seasons and this is so awesome praise God and it's a touch back on this message where it's like it's important to know what season you're in right and now I can address it because hallelujah glory be to the most high God he took me out of that season that season of waiting and I felt like I was in a season of waiting and I'm like, I'm not particular certain. Like I, I know what, you know, when you make a list, like I have a prayer list and I've made a list to say, okay, God, this, because listen, let me tell you one thing right now. If you're praying to God for something, you know, the word of God talks about that. You're, I believe it's in Exodus. I don't know. Make a list and make it plain or write out the plan and make it plain. The word of God also talks about that in all our ways, we're to acknowledge God and he'll direct our path, Right. And I've seen God come through where it's like I've made a list and I can go through that list and I can honest to God check off on that list what or cross off whatever it is. You know, you have um, yearly resolution the first of every, uh, you know, January, the first of the, the beginning of the year we have resolutions. Right. And I've gone over these lists throughout, you know, I, I can possibly say maybe the, the past year. And I'm just crossing off all the things that God has. <sighs> I'm crossing off all the things that God has allowed to come to fruition. He has answered like my answered prayers. And I'm like, glory be to the most high God. And I'm just going to encourage you guys to make a list and be specific. Be sp specific in what it is that you pray and ask God for. The reason I'm saying be specific specific is that when you ask God for something and if something comes along your way that you know you didn't pray for it's gonna rub you the wrong way it's gonna irritate your soul it's gonna irritate your spirit because you know you're like not to say that you've arrived as a person but for me I've learned some lessons and I'm now glory be to the most high God that I'm developing this. Uh, I'm, I've come to the stage where I'm when you spend time with God, because the word of God talks about when my mother and father forsake me, the Lord will pick me up and teach me his way. So when you have gone through some lessons, life will teach you some lessons and it will allow you to gain wisdom, godly wisdom. If you're truly, honestly yearning after God if God has chosen you and he has called you and you've answered the call God will then you can quote the scripture and say when my mother and father forsake me the Lord will pick me up and teach me his way and that is true God says he's not a man that he should lie so when you are walking with God he will give you godly wisdom so that way you will know how to be sensitive to the spirit. So when you're sensitive to the spirit, you make those plans and you're going across it and you're checking it off and you're like, wow, I've noticed God answered this. And then you see something and it's like, wait, I, I didn't, I didn't ask for this. It irritates your spirit because God is nudging you. Holy Spirit is saying, this is not what you prayed for. And again, the Holy, the, the Holy Spirit, God is God and the enemy always there he always tries to copy what God does God will send you answers confirmation the devil will send you counterfeits and the way you know that it's counterfeits it, it's not about uh, you, you being toxic it's not about the trauma it's not about the drama it's simply this this is not what you prayed for. So instead of going around and repeating that cycle and going around that mountain again, God is saying, this is not what you've prayed for. I'm going to stop it and interrupt it right here. And God is so good for that. 
So I'm going to say to you right now, if you all are at that place where you're being distracted and you've made a list, you've prayed to God and there's some things that you've asked God for, anything else that rears its head and you're looking like, this is good, but I didn't ask for this. And it's interrupting your spirit and it's causing um, discomfort and discontentment, then check that prayer list. Check that which it is that you've requested from God and ask God, wait a minute, God, did I ask you for this? And here's one thing that I've, I've shared with you all. If you've been following me for a while, I have, I'm not going to say I have an anger, but for me, I, I have this thing where it's like, I can be calm. Okay. I, I can be welcoming. I can be loving. And I'm sure we're all like this. I'm not, not saying, oh, I'm not to be toyed with, but a lot of times people I come across as, oh, she's so soft or, oh, she looked like she wouldn't hurt a fly. And you're right. I wouldn't. But for me as a, as a woman of God, learning the lessons that I've learned and the wisdom that God has given me, I will, I, I know how to be gentle. I know how to be kind. I know how to be calm. I know how to be collected. But if I find that you're constantly trying to get me to change my mind on something that I know God is telling me, I'm very firm on my beliefs. Let's just say that I'm firm when I, when I make up my mind, it's just that I've made up my mind. It's not wavering, wishy-washy. Like I've been at a place where I'm like, I don't know if I want you know, certain things like a relationship per se. I'm going to be honest. That's something that at this point in my life, I'm not, I'm really not interested in anybody coming into my life and interrupting my peace. And I don't know if you've been at that place where it's like once upon a time, you wanted a relationship so badly that you do almost anything. But now you're just at that place where it's like, if you're not of God, don't don't distract me because if you distract me i'm not going to be belligerent i'm not going to be loud i'm not gonna but i will say some things to you very loudly that you will not like am i going to come from off the bat and just start being defensive and lashing out no i i'm not i'm a cool calm collected individual i can have a conversation with you we can conversate but if you find like i feel as if this day and age walking with God is like, you can't be wishy-washy. It has to be yes or no. If it's no, make it be known. Don't wait. Oh, I think this is what I want. And if, as a matter of fact, if you're at the place where you're like indecisive, then chances are it's a no, right? It, stand firm on your belief. And especially as a Christian mom, it's like that is my season right now where I'm making the decision to obtain certain things and I'm not going to waver, right? And that is why the word of God says that we're supposed to stand firm. That's why he says that when we pray and we ask for something, we are to believe that we will receive that thing or just believe that, you know, God is going to allow us to obtain that thing instead of having faith today and not having faith tomorrow right may god help us to have that consistent faith to say you know what i don't want this or i want this or you know what i mean regardless of what that situation is so i feel like i went through a season of distraction and that season of distraction has taught me this if you are questioning that thing that you believe not to say god has sent in your life but i, I guess that god has allowed to be in your life Every single thing in our lives is for a reason. And once you continue praying to God, God, I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is of you. And you feel like one minute you want to make the decision to um, maintain or hold on to that thing. And then the next minute you're changing your mind. That's not God because God is a God of peace and he's a God of order. So if he, his, his answer is yes, no, wait right so if you are having if you're not at peace if you and, and i feel i feel as if that's what it means when you need to make a decision if you have to question man did i do that right every single day man did i make the right choice i feel like i want to do this i feel like i don't want to do that and it's like just just wait and if that if it involves another person they're not willing to wait the answer is complete no if you're like, I don't want any part of it, you want no part of it. And guess what? 
You're entitled to that. You're entitled to making your own decisions, okay? And I believe and I feel as if because I'm a single mother, a lot of individuals that I've had approach me, it's it's like, well, you're a single mom, so I'm doing you a favor. No, no, you're not doing me a favor because how are you doing me a favor if I don't even want to be with you in the first place? How How's that a favor? I won't be the first or the last person to be um, a single mom, right? Um, so you're not doing me a favor. The only favor you're doing for me is to show me that you're not the person that I need to be with, right? And so that's what I'm praying for those of you that may be going through that season where you feel as if you're waiting, but in the season of waiting, there's all this distraction. I pray that God would just give you clarity and I pray that he'll give you contentment to know that, hey, um, I want this and not that and set those boundaries. And if a person is not willing to respect your boundaries, you know, know what you can tolerate. But at the same time, don't lower your standards or your boundaries for a said individual. There are just certain things. You don't want to call somebody calling you after a certain time. Those are boundaries. And if they break that, you know, there's no respect there for you. And it's just a matter of time before they just begin to disregard everything else that you say. That's toxic. That's a distraction. It's an attack from, from the enemy. And a lot of times these individuals, they're aware of what they're doing. May God give us discernment and may he give us wisdom for whomever it is that may try to come into our lives. You've worked too hard. You know, when you're healing, you've put in all the work to get to the place that you're at and for an individual to come and try and like jeopardize that and basically make you start from scratch again it's not worth it okay and I'm just at a season right now where glory be to God like I'm realizing who is for me and every season we go through the 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 great thing is the great thing is holding on to God holding on to uh, his unchanging hand so that when you get out of that and when I say hold on to his hands I mean by praying by fasting by trusting him even if you don't understand you don't know what to pray God I'm trusting you God I'm gonna I'm, I'm trusting you and so when you get out of that you're just like glory be to God that was that was an experience <laughs> it was um it was quite an experience but God I'm so glad you kept me through it all and he will do that. The more we involve God in every single thing, like his word says to acknowledge him in all our ways, he'll direct our path. The more we put him first and not after we've made that decision is the more God will lead us. And that's what he wants. How many of us have children? I don't know about you, but when my children are making a decision and they come to me and they ask me my opinion and I tell them my opinion and then to see them listen and follow through with, you know, what it is that I've suggested it makes me as a parent makes me very happy and pleased with my child as is i believe coming from that perspective god too would like for us his chosen chosen into his kingdom adopted into his kingdom how much more do you think god would prefer that for us to actually adhere to his commands that he he is written in his his words right and his holy spirit nudging us telling us something is off something is not right when he tells you that, trust him, you know, because I don't think that God will, I know God won't mislead us. And so that's what I want to share. Just talk about the distraction. The enemy is trying to use distraction as a tactic to get you, like to derail you from the purpose that God has for you, right? So I pray that God will allow you to realign you, to refocus your mind so that way you can know what God's will is for your life. So you will not be conformed to this world, but you will be transformed by the renewing of our minds so that we'll know what it is that God desires of us. So that way, it's not to say that we're rude and belligerent to others. We're showing uh, godliness and we're being as godly as we can. And regardless of what people are going to say, oh, you're not a Christian. It's fine. You can't interrupt my peace. And then I react in a certain way that you wouldn't expect for me to react, but I do that. And then you're getting upset. How do you know how I should react? You're not a Christian. You see what I'm saying? So don't question the relationship I have with God. Question yourself and your motives. It's something about your spirit that's irritated me while I'm reacting the way that I'm reacting. And then you get, oh my gosh, you're supposed to be the soft, smooth saint. Excuse me. Not perfect. Not Jesus Jr. I'm not going to be perfect. Not yet. 
I'm trying to be, be as holy as God is holy. I'm holy. That's why even the word of God talks about, don't let the sun go down in your anger. He says, you know, be angry, but don't sin. I'm angry. I get angry, but I'm not sinning. If I say certain things that's on my mind, I'm not sinning by causing harm. There's certain things that I say that may be out of line and may God forgive me if I've said that. But at the end of the day, it's just one of those things where it's like, don't allow the enemy to steal your peace. Don't allow the enemy to steal your joy. And he does that by sending distractions. And again, may God refocus us and show us really and truly what we need to be doing in each seasons that we're in. So that way we won't fall for the tracks, the, the, the tricks and the tactics of the enemy. That we will know it before they even come our way. So that way, instead of wasting weeks and months in a situation where you know that it's not for you because you didn't pray for it you just allow god to give you that peace to just leave it and leave it alone thanks for watching god willing um talk to you soon